Right. And we're live with Richard Wiseman and Joel. Where was, this is part two about jobs, interviews, and much, much more. So you were saying something, Joel? Yes. Um, as I was saying earlier, I went into a job interview today, and I had an interview, and I showed up an hour early. Yeah, an hour early, 60 minutes. And my question was, what impression does the uh, does arriving significantly early to an interview leave on your potential employer? I think one there's some pros and cons to that, yeah. 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 One of the thoughts I had was, of course, you know, showing up early, uh, in any case, you would, it would, you would think would show initiative and, uh, you know, drive to do well and to be a good worker. But it also occurred to me, you know, what if uh, arriving early, and I'm not just talking, you know, 5, 10, 20 minutes early, but, you know, hours, an hour or more. Hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hours. Oh, a lengthy uh, amount of time. A lengthy amount of time uh, before your appointment. And and my question is, do you think that would leave a negative impression on the employer in that they would see you then as um, kind of... I will nervous, for lack of a better term, and that would affect your working habits. You know? uh, I think it really depends on the context of what type of interview setup this was. Was this like a uh, call back just for you? Were there other people in the lobby? Like, uh, give me a little bit more background information. I see. Well, um, there was a p particular applicant um, before me, and the way it looked is that. The applicant took the application interview process uh, at this particular location, which takes about an hour, as the manager told me when I scheduled the appointment. Um, so I showed up an hour early, thinking, you know, that it would only take 15 or 20 minutes. Yeah, a brief other person, and this other person, and then they told me to come back in an hour because apparently it really did did take an hour. Um, so finally, when I came back for my scheduled appointment, um, I had finally been able to see the manager for the interview after, uh, of course, after my scheduled time, but not too long after. Oh, okay, okay. And so I, uh, I had did the interview and uh, took an assessment, and it was a pretty lengthy process. It was, it was straightforward in many cases, in many ways, yes. Um, there wasn't any confusion about you know questions or the the interview seemed to flow from one topic to the next, so that wasn't a problem. But the one thing I noticed is that my interview took um well over, at least an hour and a half I'll say. Oh really? Ninety minutes. Interestingly enough, and and the other thing though is that when I left. I was very pleased by the by the whole process, but when I left, my I noticed my interviewer gave me much more a, a much warmer reception than I had noticed with the previous applicant. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, that must be an interesting uh, oh, hint, I guess. You know. Um, Otherwise, well, the main thing is there's no there's no failure in this event that you're talking about, and no. you have to assess yourself and realize what kind of feedback can I give myself in regards to this. The main yes. uh, central starting point would be what was I trying to achieve here? What was my aim? Mm -hmm. And um, what have I achieved so far to this point, in an extent to it uh, successfully completing this? Mm -hmm. Yes. So. Uh, uh, so, in regard to that, uh, what kind of lessons do you think you say you have learned from this? Um, well, I've learned that it definitely is valuable to uh, have a knowledge of the company or the knowledge of the employer. Yeah, the yeah prior background knowledge. It, it, prior background knowledge, yes. Yeah. Um, it makes you stand out from the crowd, I would say. Yes, definitely. Um, Having a degree is a good start, especially like if you are uh, a student, let's say you're working on your bachelor's, but maybe you have an associate's degree, um, 
that is definitely a great start. But the thing I've also noticed is that it takes character and it takes, well, personality. And if you're, depending on your employer, you know, um, depending on the type of work you're applying for, uh, you know, having a degree is always helpful, but you can have a degree and still be the worst person to train ever. Cause so you, you basically are saying you want to have the, you have to demonstrate to them that you have the skill sets necessary to be a very useful asset to the company or a good employee overall. Exactly, which includes being adaptable to different tasks, being yeah. a quick learner, being able to pick up new, new uh, tasks and responsibilities quickly and do them effectively. So, yeah, that's so definitely... Besides uh, this little summer gig you're looking at, uh, uh, have you considered any internships or anything more focused towards your uh, major? You know, I'm actually planning on doing an internship next summer. That's, um, that's in the cards right now. For next year, I've got uh, plans to study abroad uh, in Ecuador this coming spring. Oh, exciting, man! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, that's what that's what seems to be going on, and then I'll be I plan on graduating by December of 2015. So that'll be nice. Yeah, really, it really is. Yeah. So. Um, from your standpoint, do you have any tips for people who are uh, trying to get a job? Mm. Um, Off the top of your head. Right. One thing is, of course, dress nicely. And when I say dress nicely, it, it, that varies depending on the type of work you're applying for. If you're applying for, let's say, a tuxedo shop or, um, or you know, some department store perhaps or some other higher-end um, retail facility, then you might want to go with a suit and a jacket. Well, a jacket and pants and dress for success. Dress a little bit, yeah. Dress what for I success. have to say about that is, um, from my experience and what I've gathered, is that uh, you you want to kind of uh, maybe feel out the situation before arriving for an interview, such yes. as go to the place of employment if possible and see how your future employment place operates, such as what. Do uh, your position, the yeah. people in your position would wear at said work. So when you show up to the interview in uh, identical appearance, you uh, have that cohesive um, look to yourself, showing that you would fit into their culture. Yes, I can see how that would relate. Um, yes, definitely. I think that's why if you do, let's say, show up an hour early before your appointment, that's where one of the benefits can be. Is if you, then you have the time to go around go around the store for yourself and uh, observe how the work is done, um, you know, what people are doing, how they're doing the work, and then um, what would be expected of you. And then that might uh, make you brainstorm a little bit and come up with ideas to ask the interviewer when they ask you, do you have any questions for me? Hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's another uh, open-ended question. It is, isn't it? It's always a. It's always it's that's an interesting question in itself because you can reach that point in the interview, and, you know, you may have prepared questions beforehand. You may have all these things you'd want to ask them, but, you know, when it comes to that moment, you may just freeze up. As it were. Well, so far, it's just been a one-way direction. Usually, just an interview them uh, going down bullet list asking questions, and now this is really where the dialogue of a conversation opens up. Yes. Yeah. Right. Uh, yes. 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 That's um. That's an interesting point. Uh, you definitely you can open the dialogue then and make it more of a conversation then. Mm -hmm. just between two people rather than an interrogation. Ah, yeah. So besides uh, all this uh, interview you had, what what else is going on? Uh, well, let's see. Right now I'm currently doing a, jo a, a temporary job, uh, dog sitting. So taking working care at of home. Yeah, working from home, as they say. Um, that's... Doing that's going well actually. Today was my first day, and so I really am excited. It's, it feels good to have the time off and uh, 
be just enjoying the summer, enjoying the weather, and uh, looking forward to things to come. Yeah, I heard I heard about uh, on your end that you were uh, running a blog or some sorts. Um, I was. I I actually need. Uh, well, yes, it's still available. You can check it out at uh, livingoutloudvegan.blogspot.com. And I'll put a link here after this is published. Okay, great. But uh, yes, that's my blog, and I've had it since 2000, well, 2013. Um, it's where I post all kinds of things about my life and uh, related to vegan things, uh, current events, life events, uh, really anything that I take interest in or find of importance. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So That's I encourage cool. you all to check it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should also check out uh, Rich Wiseman's website. Uh, I'll at mm -hmm. c o l l e g e number two riches dot com. Yes, and uh, it's number two as in just just two, not number two spelled out. Anyways. Oh yeah, I'll put a link. Don't worry. Oh yeah, you don't. Worry. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah. Well, thank you for uh, featuring me. Um, All right. Well, uh, we might continue this conversation later or uh, start something new, but I'll definitely get you back on. Yes, we'll be. I'll be seeing you soon then. All right, man. Peace. Okay. Yeah, thank you, sir. Bye bye.